Hello everyone, I'm Sichuan Luo, a PhD student from the City University of Hong Kong. Today I will present our work, Can Large Language Model Substitute Human Labeling? A case study of fine green Chinese address entity recognition data set for the UAV delivery. So the named entity recognition is a crucial subtest of natural language processing that focus on identifying and categorizing key information that is entities in the test. The entities can include number names of people, organizations, locations, dates, and more. So for example for example, you can look at this this figure. The Obama is a person name and the August first, nineteen sixty one is a date and so on. The transformer models introduced in the paper, attention is all you need, have re revolutionized NLP tasks due to their ability to capture complex dependencies in tests through the uh, self-attention mechanism. And the BERT, which is bidirectional encoder representations from transformers introduced by Devon and all in 2018, has set new benchmarks in the various NLP tasks, including NER task. And the birth architecture allows it to consider context from both life and the right of a world simultaneously and can lead into a deeper understanding of the world semantics. So the unmanned aerial vehicle UAV delivery system in China is an exciting step to towards re re revolutionizing the traditional uh, delivery industry and meeting the growing demands. Companies such as Meituan are leading the charge using drones to deliver goods to customers. And you can see in this figure, the restaurant put the food within the box and used the UAV to deliver the food to the customers. So this system relies heavily on accurate location data to ensure that like, the deliveries reach the right destination. This is why where the NER comes into play. So when a user inputs their address, the larger models uses the NER to extract essential components such as the street names, buildings, floors, communities, and so on. The extracted data is then converted into the process coordinates through the dual coding technique and allowing the UAV to pinpoint the exact delivery location. So the effectiveness of this NER model is dependent upon the availability of specific fan green Chinese uh, NER dataset for mo model training, as you can see in this figure. However, there is a shortage of such dataset in, in Chinese, highlighting and accelerating the creation of a new dataset. And besides, in the context of Chinese NER, the challenge is further amplified due to the linguistic complexity of the Chinese language, which includes unique characters, tones, and contextual meanings that differ signif significantly from those in languages like English. This complexity necessitates the dataset that are not only large but also annotated to capture the nuance and the intricate cases in Chinese. So next. Uh, the large language models have demonstrated remarkable ab ability in natural, lang natural language understanding and generation. And their performance uh, in a variety of tasks from translation to summarization showcases their potential in handling complex linguistic neurons. When it comes to labeling dataset, especially for English dataset, large language models have shown significant success. Previous works show that they can efficiently annotate large volumes of tests with high accuracy and consistency. And they can often matching or even uh, surpassing human performance in labeling English datasets. And this brings to a question, can large language models support human performance in labeling fangoing Chinese dataset with super quality? And the application of large language models to Chinese dataset present unique challenges. Chinese with its intrinsic characters and, ca and context-dependent meanings requires a deeper understanding and more nuanced processing compared to English. So next, so in this work we present CNER UAV, which is a fan in the Chinese NER dataset for the UAV delivery. And we released the data and code in GitHub. 
We use three annotators, including human annotators, GPT 3.5, and ChatGPT model. And this data set was collected in the first half of 2023. The task of data annotation was outsourced to an external company, and the data correction process was approved by the May 1 ethics a review board ensuring the process adhere to the ethical guidelines. May 1 is responsible for the data desensitization and the deletion of user sensitive information, ensuring that the privacy and the confidential of the users are well protected. And here is an example of our data set. So next. So our data set compilation process preliminary adhere to this flowchart. So initially, we passed the historical order logs to extract the user's order information. And subsequently, we ident identify and extract the address, applying predefined rules to filter out the relevant ones. Next, we proceed to sample and annotate the data, which involves labeling by human annotators, GPT, and treasure and model. And further elaboration on the dataset collection and annotation procedures can be found in our original paper. And we follow these guidelines in labeling the dataset. So first, we respect the user input and the POI information. That is, we annot annotate all the entities when a multiple reference point to a single location. And next, we set the priority to highest pr probability entity. So when multiple entities of the same category appear in the address test, we select the entity with the highest probability as the user de destination. And third, uh, we filter the amb ambiguous and unlocatable address. That is, we, we exclude the address with ambiguous descriptions or laws are not can cannot be geolocated based on the longitude and latitude. So this table one presents an overview of the sentences and text within our data set. And the table two shows the statistic of different labels in three subsets. Uh, we could observe from the table in the building classification, the GPT annotations are approximately 7.47% less compared to the manual labeling. And conversely, in the unit category, the GPT's annotation exceeded, exceeded human labeling by about 9.70%. Six uh, percent. This disparity suggests a potential oversight in specific unit label by GPT, potentially arising from a de deficiency in in relevant knowledge and an inherent limitation within the model. Uh, so next, so since the transformer-based models have found success across NR tests, we imp we implement baselines including BERT, Electra, Roberta, and so on. And in line with previous work, we evaluate uh, various ANYA models using the standard performance metrics, including accuracy and the F1 score. And we assess the performance at both the class level and the overall performance. And here is the result and discussions. So we can observe from the table, the, the table reveals a notable disparity in annotation effectiveness with treasure M 6 billion model performing significantly worse compared to other annotation me methods. In a sense, it falls short of meeting the practical requirement of the UAV, uh, UAV system. And our analysis shows that this performance uh, discrepancy can be attributed to Treasure M's pre preliminary uh, training data, which mainly comprises ch Chinese conversations. Without fine tuning specific for the NIA annotation task, its applicability to production is remain inadequate. And also, we have noticed that the GPT annotation performed um, com competitively with manual labeling when labeling uh, buildings. However, it significantly lags behind in accurate labeling rooms and others compared to human annotation. This underscores the limitation of GPT annotation and highlights the challenge GPT models encounter in uh, achieving fine grain the understanding of Chinese text. And next. So furthermore, we it was noting that all large models achieve over 90% accuracy in each, in each category of the human annotated dataset. So this result demonstrates the effectiveness and utility of our proposed dataset, affirming its value for UAV delivery task. 
And next, we conduct some case study. So the, the experimental finding suggests that currently, large language models cannot fully substitute manual annotation. And this figure lists four distinct types of bad cases in large language models uh, addressing tagging. First is the label ambiguity. So in case where a uh, user input a combination of buildings and flow details, so for example, the journal count, uh, 5B12D. Uh, GPT 3.4 cannot extract the 5B as B tag, 12 as L tag, and D as the R tag. While tre Treasure M cannot separate the, the floor and the room labels. And the second is the incomplete entity labeling. The large language model sometimes provide incomplete and entity labeling. So for example, in the input 6 floor, and GPT 3.5 and Treasure M on only label 6 and overlook floor in Chinese. And the third one is the consecutive uh, number confusion. When consecutive numbers are entered, large language models face challenges in correctly distinguish uh, between the floor and the room numbers. So for example, they may fail to recognize the first two in uh, 223 as a level tag. And in contrast, a human annotation effortlessly avoid such issues. And the, la and the last uh, problem is the incapability for long tags. So compared with the GPT 3.5, the Treasure M model exhibi exhibit a significant decline in its ability to parse Chinese long, ta long test address. Uh, this aligns with our experiment findings. So to summarize, the large language models excel with singular and standard uh, address information, but fail short in semantically rich and uh, sensitively flexible address. So enhancing large language models' Chinese compre comprehension capability is a promotion research avenue. So in conclusion, in this work, we present CNERUV, the first fine-growing Chinese NER dataset for the UAV delivery system. And uh, this data set comprises comprise three subsets derived from the real world system logs annotated by humans and larger models. And we conduct experiments using popular based methods showing that uh, human annotators outperform GPT 3.5 in labeling this data set. And that's all my presentation. Thank you for listening.